Hi everybody, thank you for joining me today. Today is a Sunday here, uh, March 12th of 2017. And welcome to Into the Ether with Luna Live. Um, I am sharing this video with you because it's part of one of my personal challenges uh, that I have committed to do um, these days for a week. Uh, while I am in this workshop uh, that has to do with priestesshood and uh, awakening to, to your, your highest potential <laughs> and, and manifesting your dreams. So since a long time my dreams ha have been um, sharing my soul in whatever form in front of the camera and with an audience that would listen and hopefully uh, would uh, touch you in some ways, or if not, well, I guess uh, just uh, let it go, but at least to have the courage to put myself out there. And this is why I am doing it. Because um, um, as part of this workshop to manifest is basically to, to g grow bigger. I know that you can be bigger than what you are and not play small anymore. And to me, not play small anymore means uh, that if I have always felt the call to share my love, my, my love, my, yes, share my love and share of myself, uh, uh, kind of like in a public space, um, probably because since I was very young, I was uh, raised like that in meditations where I was just witnessing people who are guiding meditations uh, and silent meditations just through their energy and things like that. And I have always admire how they can serve people by being themselves. So I have always wondered. <laughs> and as part of this workshop, I was supposed to write down my deepest desires. And one of my deepest desires has always, has always been uh, the opportunity to share something that might, insp might inspire somebody, at least one person in the entire world, to, to, to shift uh, a thought or a behavior or something that it might have been hurtful to something that would be more empowering. So this, this is why I am here. <laughs> Uh, thank you for staying there, tuning in. Uh, so in this workshop, I am supposed to do something uh, daily, as a daily practice, that will nurture my being and my spiritual being, my body, my body, my body, my mind, my spirit is all one complex. So if I nurture my body through baths and things like that, that is very beneficial for the soul. So what are the things that I do every day uh, to nurture my soul and to come into more, um, let's say, pleasure? Because your own pleasure, when you are uh, tuning into that vibration of pleasure, it means joy, ecstasy, you are actually, um, contributing to the whole world because of your state of being. Um, so when, uh, some of the things that I do um, these days <laughs> uh, uh, to nurture myself, my spirit or my body, as I said before, uh, one of them is dance um, because it's my passion. I dance every single day of my life, every single day of my life. I use dance as a workout and as a meditation trance, uh, alchemical tool, uh, as a meditation to connect to my inner self, my inner child spirit and try to connect to, to I don't know, I guess happiness and gratitude Probably when I dance in the mornings, when I do my prayers and I say, thank you for this, thank you for that, thank you for this, thank you for that. <laughs> uh, what else do I do? Um, I meditate every day a little bit, even if it's just one, uh, even if it's just three conscious breaths every day. 
uh, with uh, total awareness um, that you are a spirit. Um, and that helps through the whole day to change the vibration when you are aware that you are actually a spirit and not a person just made of carbon uh, trapped <laughs> in uh, the pain and the sorrows and the drama of every single day <laughs> is a freaking, freaking relief <laughs> um, to have that awareness so that helps because uh, when you meditate it's like uh, you go to this uh, deeper higher um, D deeper higher vibrations and frequencies and then you tapped more into your heart chakra and your upper chakras uh, this mean more conscious of, of love and connection and um, spiritual awareness of connection with all creation basically uh, and then when you tapped into that that is unconditional love and joy and peace whether it's through prayer, through meditation, to just gratitude, through through conscious breath, it really doesn't matter, through doing something that you really, really, really enjoy, then you, and meditation is actually one, one that is very beneficial, <laughs> uh, to withdraw those energies and those frequencies into our, our body energy and our life, and then be a ripple effect for those who surround us. So yes, our pleasure, my personal pleasure, creates a ripple effect of joy uh, of those that are around or that I inspire are, are inspired. That's why it's important, I believe, uh, to do this exercise for my workshop because. Uh, like very deep in my, my soul, I know that this video is going to have a life of its own forever, as many, many, many of other of my teachers' um, videos <laughs> have been there online and have inspired me or other people for m many, many times. It really doesn't matter if they were recorded in 19... 80 or <laughs> whatever it really doesn't matter as they say as they say the flow of the universe uh, the teacher will appear when the student is ready um, well some of the other things that I do uh, for self nurture is uh, to exercise so I have a little let's say 45 minute routine that I do here at home uh, for example I have my boot ups right here just to share with you da -da 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 -da. pull ups chin ups things like that just to nurture my body because when the body feels strong the soul feels strong and uh, some exercise um, as, as we already know, uh, creates like endorphins, dopamines, and all these beautiful things that makes us feel so good. And so especially when we're depressed and we're down and whether the weather is shitty and everything like that, then uh, a little bit of exercise really comes in handy as uh, self uh, nurture. Uh, what else? Uh, something that I do also every day to nurture myself is to journal just because that brings uh, some awareness, so some sort of more conscious awareness. And I journal about my dreams, and uh, I journal about insights that I get when I'm meditating, or uh, when I am like super happy and inspired, or when I am feeling very crappy and very depressed. <laughs> so, <laughs> It really helps to move the energy around. And uh, recently I had a very beautiful experience regarding my journals because so far I have kept them all for quite a few years. And at some point it came to me that inner desire of getting rid of all of them and burning them or disappearing them in the garbage or threading, threading them or things like that. Um... 
and when I was going to do it, I actually like grabbed them and of course you like randomly, I randomly went through them and it was such a beautiful thing and I decided because of that not to destroy them. <laughs> To see that I had journals from, let's say, three, four, five years ago, and I saw the prayers and the manifestations and the things that I wanted to do back then and manifest back then, back then, and it, I, I actually came to tears to realize that pretty much every single time that I have written a prayer or, or a statement of an affirmation, uh, a desire, a goal, um, it has manifested. And I read them all and I decided to <laughs> just not get rid of them <laughs> for the time being. It was really quite beautiful to see that that uh, prayers, prayers come true <laughs> and that everything is possible and that miracles happen. It really do, the miracles, they really, they really do happen. Uh, what else do I do? Let's see. Oh my God. Let's see what I'm going to do with this. Uh, what else do I do every day as a, a personal nourishment? I don't do it every day, but I do it. Um, there are certain practices that I do randomly. And one of those that I'm doing these days is using sound vibration of music or um sounds and voices that are coming from higher densities and basically I'm talking about like angel densities and things like that that through the power of the sound and the vibration uh, are able to affect all the um, the cells of the body and the spiritual energy uh, towards one of harmony and healing. Uh, for instance in this particular practice I use Tom Canyon and uh, I just relax, <laughs> relax for 10, 15 minutes with his channelings. The one that I am using right now is called Restoration. And that one is just like, kind of like to clear up your negative energy or uh, perceptions, vibration, whatever it is, and come to a point of more centered. Uh, communication with your higher self through higher vibration so it is just like seven minutes or eight minutes nine minutes actually and it's very beautiful <laughs> um, uh, so I use that what else do I do um, another way that I nurture myself um, is by trying to do here make healthier choices in my daily life, like for instance, uh, little things that add up, like for instance, for instance, um, for instance, if I just went across the street and bought the groceries, uh, instead of taking the elevator, I just go up the stairs. <laughs> or for instance, uh, instead of uh, smoking cigarettes, I I'm vaping, so that's one of the choices that is healthier and also try not to consume fast food or GMOs or food that is not organic and things like that because little choices like that really add up. Um, and what else? And a uh, wonderful thing that I do as a nurture, that it, this is precisely my homework, is to uh, share my soul and my spirit out there with you. Um, basically, and go through all these challenges of, of making these videos because, of course, here at home I have my sons and everything, and as soon as I say, okay, I am about to start recording. They start going to the bathroom, flushing the toilet, vacuuming, um, going to the kitchen for snacks. <laughs> you like anyway? It's just it's just it's just the flow that the, the things. It's just so the way it is. So basically, I believe this this workshop that I am taking is to. It really doesn't matter like all the 
obstacles that you could perceive about yourself, whether there's self-doubt or how am I going to do it or I don't have the time to do it or anything like that. It's not, you know, it's basically, no, just make a commitment of, of doing it and just fucking do it. <laughs> so um, that's why I'm here. Um, and let's see. I'm going to share with you. Uh, okay, let's see. Okay, done. Uh, so, sorry about that interruption. Um, I'm going to share with you uh, here. Um, okay, yes. I'm going to share with you one more thing that I do every day and what I learned today from that. And then I'm just going to probably put my phone over there and play a song and close with a dance uh, to give you the opportunity or to give me the opportunity to share uh, out there with other souls uh, behind the scenes of Into the Ether with Luna. I am a burlesque dancer and I have to practice many different genres and uh, choreographies and things like that but mostly when I dance is so that my soul is is joyful and thank you so much for joining me uh, what I want to share with you is that one of the things that I do daily to sh to nurture myself is um, my spiritual studies uh, that right now at the moment usually most of them are uh, on the internet uh, today I was watching a very beautiful, um, like documentary or interview or let's say presentation with one of those brothers that <laughs> share share so many in so much knowledge and so many things, and uh, I would like to share with you um, before I start dancing for let's say about a minute or so. And thank you. Oh fuck! Sorry. Oh sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, um, I, that's why it's behind the scenes because everything is live so you can actually don't edit, cannot edit that. I'm not going to edit it and um, I'm sorry. Um, actually one of the things that I have learned recently is not to say I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry all the time. Um, no, but instead, like to change it to to thank you for instead of like oh I'm sorry I'm late or whatever saying thank you saying say, something like thank you for waiting for me or things like that because it totally changes the vibration of of how you interact and, and react uh, to people oh with people. Um, so this is what I learned and basically this is a super long story short. It's like a two hour documentary. This is the essence of what I learned today. And this is basically the summary of a conversation between a human from this earth and a being from Andromeda, from the Andromeda uh, constellation. And it's actually quite beautiful. So there is like, I'm gonna ask you one question or just to bring awareness uh, to everybody about one question that came up into this conversation and this being from Andromeda uh, really basically it's not a question but he really really doesn't understand how or why do we have to pay to live in this planet where we were born apparently for, for what I heard in the conversation. We are the only freaking planet in the whole multiverse, I guess, and the galaxies and all on Earth that actually have to pay to live in a planet that we were born in. Isn't that freaking ridiculous? And when they see the money, they don't call it money and they like, like them in Andromeda, they refer it as a paper with, uh, with, with pictures. <laughs> Isn't that interesting how uh, less advanced we are compared to other civilizations 
in the universe or in the multiverse. Could you believe having to use money and having to pay to live in the planet that we were born? It doesn't make any freaking sense. And uh, so that was a question to, to leave there with you. And uh, when the human asked this beautiful being, I believe they come from the fifth dimension, something like that. No, fifth dimension, no, well, yes. Well, they are from Andromeda a constellation. Uh, the human, in a moment of despair, asks them, so, so what is it? So what do I have to do? So who, who do we become? Who do we become? Because like these beings are, um, like they don't have space and time, but according to our point of reference, they are in the future. <laughs> so they know our past. And when the human in desperation asks, so who do we become? Who do we become as, as a collective consciousness of humans on earth, of this of these beautiful civilization here on earth? And he says, <clears throat> this is absolutely something amazing because guess what is happening and it's happening it's happening <laughs> there's no other way he says so you want to know who do we become this this is who we become we become responsible freedom of self determination becoming truly self-confident and free to unconditionally be responsible for yourself without being coerced by some other authority. I know <laughs> it hurts <laughs> so this is our calling brothers and sisters to change the fucking paradigm because things are not working right now <laughs> and it's time to actually raise up the vibration on earth so uh, thank you for staying tuned with me if you want if you are still there and want to see me dancing here for a minute uh, behind the scenes, uh, warming up, exercising, and practicing choreography. Um, uh, you're welcome to sit down on this uh, theater chair for a minute. Let's put it like that. And I guess that's it. Just see here. Bear with me there for a second, and let's do it. Thank you for joining me. Namaste. I love you all. I have a passion for this song lately.
Namaste. Namaste.